when you're with a female, long term, like, you're with this woman, and you're kind of serious now, and you're serious, and you she's with you now, she's not yours, she's with you for the moment. Dress yourself up. This video topic will be about why your girlfriend isn't listening to you anymore. Let's get into it. So, let's get straight to the point. There are a couple of reasons why your girlfriend is not listening to you anymore. It could be that there's this thing called shit test. A woman will act, do, or say certain things and watch how you react and what you say to them to see if you're uh, in your masculine frame to see if you're gonna bullshit get offended get low confidence women do this by nature so already don't even try to avoid it shit tests are a good thing they're a sign she sees you in an attractive sexual way therefore she wants to see are you worth fucking are you really the man you say you are now when you fail these uh, shit tests, you basically look like a bitch to her eyes. And when you're with a girlfriend, when you're with a female, long term, like, you're with this woman, and you're kind of serious now, and you're serious, and you're, she's with you now. She's not yours. She's with you for the moment. As time goes on, people get bored, they uh, get lazy, they get comfortable, and what happens when you get too comfortable, you become easy and boring. When she does a shit test, you felt you are basically giving her a reason to not want to listen to you, to not want to, you know satisfy you, to give you that pussy when you want it, so, what do you do, it's simple, when you fuck up a bunch of shit tests, stop fucking up on the shit tests, a shit test could be like, saying, oh, I had to show up, but, oh, I was busy, or I couldn't show up on the time, or I couldn't come over, or blah, 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 and you're like, oh, okay, it's cool, and you let it slide, like, no respect for your own time. That right there, you just fucked up the shit test. Another shit test could be this, this simple one that lots of girls use. Are you seeing any girls? He's, if it's your girlfriend, of course, you tell him, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. nah we're just friends. I just see her as a friend. Don't cut off your female friends, fellas. Do not. If you cut off your female friends, she won't see as much reason to, you know, fight for you. Because women are hella competitive. But let's not go and change topics. Another reason why your girlfriend is not listening to you is you're not satisfying her in the bedroom anymore. Yes, the bedroom fucking bending her over and... Yeah, that that matters a lot. It matters a fuck lot. Good sex can make a woman fall in love with you. You might be the worst person in the world. You might be a hell of an asshole. You might not even be the most attractive man. But if you have good sex, can, if you can fuck the shit out of her properly, you can make her fall in love with you. And she then will not want to leave your side. But if you're fucking up in the bedroom, you're not lasting as long. You're not lasting as long. You're not hitting her spots well. You're not making her come. Or you're being too basic and repetitive. She will lose interest. And then she'll want to find someone else who can give her that feeling that you used to give her. Which comes to my next reason why she's not listening to you. I was talking about it before. You're getting too comfortable. When you get too comfortable... The woman does not see you as the cool, interesting, sporadic, awesome, high-value man. She's not. She's gotten too comfortable. You've gotten too comfortable around her. 
you know, though that's, yes, it's, it's obvious that when you get a girlfriend, you've been them for them for a while, you get comfortable. The thing is, you cannot get too comfortable. The word too comfortable means it's too damn much. You gotta pull back. Have your own life. Do things. Not tell her everything. And the next one, you're being in too much damn contact, fellas. Too much contact. Listen, you have to know that females, females fall in love with you when you're not around them. When you can daydream about you and think about you. And if you're always in contact with her, constantly, her emotions won't give a huge spike. And then she won't be able to daydream about you and miss you. People miss people when they're not around. That's how missing works. Works. That's how females get affection for men. They get affection for the men they can't have because they have many options. What you need to do is you need to pull back. Stop texting so much. Stop answering. Stop being such an open damn book. Be more mysterious. Keep things a little bit more private. Slow it, not directly, not direct, not instantly. She'll see something that's up and she'll be asking questions and getting worried and creating more drama. But you want to pull back slowly. And then when she starts chasing, revealing certain things. But not, no, 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 not all of it. Slowly. And you're so quiet. What have you been doing? Ah, secret stuff. This, that. Out of the five things you did, you only said two of them. The three of them, you just teased her about it. Or you showed a picture on social media about it that she follows you on. So she, she saw it. And she'll be asking questions about it. And when she texts you, you don't answer her. And when she sees them, you don't answer her like, like that. Nah, you take your time. You wait an hour, two hours. And then you answer her. And I'm talking about answering with no, no damn emojis. No exclamation marks. No interrogation marks. Be very, well, it depends how, but like, be a little bit serious in your text. If you're too damn emotional and there's too many damn colors going on, that's just cringe. That is just very, very cringe. Stop it. One of the other reasons why she's not listening to you anymore. She found someone better. Therefore, she's detaching herself. Because women detach from their mates, their boyfriends, in a span of months. They slowly detach. They make sure another guy is up in line before they go with you. And if you ever hear this phrase, fellas, if you ever hear this phrase, the phrase, I want some time, you know what that means? It means, I found someone better who I think is better than you, so I'm going to go fuck with them. And if it doesn't work out, I'll come back to you. That's what I, I need my own space means. That's what it means. It's a code name. It's code word for, not name, code word for, I found someone better, I think. And I'm going to go fuck with them, literally. And see if I like being with them. And if it's not enough, I'll come back to you. And when she does that, you pull away. You don't try to force her to stay. You don't try to ask why. Nothing. She says, I need my own space. You tell her. Cool. Don't come back. And you block them. No, you not block them. Blocking is a kind of a butthurt move. No. When you tell them, fine, when you're in space, don't come back. I don't care your reasons. I'm going to do my own things. Enjoy other people's company. Respect my time. And you go. And you be cold as fuck about it. No emotions. No. Girls have this thing where it's called FOMO. FedEx Fearless talked about it once. Anyways, FOMO. Fear of missing out. If she feels like she's missing out, she will want to come back. That's why women suck most of the time at making long-term plans and long-term ambitions because they're living in the moment because of their emotions, but also because they're afraid of missing out. So if your girlfriend's not listening to you, you probably got too soft around her. You're probably not as cool as you were before. You're probably not satisfying her in the bedroom as much. Or she found someone better. Because the thing is, fellas. And this is like a really important part of this video. The thing is, fellas. 
Relationships, they end. Every relationship has an expiry date. Some finish better, some finish worse. Some might come back, some might not come back. Depending on how you broke it off, what type of man you were in the beginning, and what type of man you were at the end of it. But every relationship has an expiry date. If you're with a girl right now and you really caught feelings, like you really caught deep fucking feelings. If you caught feelings, fellas, first thing you have to do before things break off or whatever, you get fed up or she gets fed up. One, you break up with her first. Two, before the breakup, you make sure you get a girl that's just as attractive as her, if not more so. Interested in fucking with you. Why? The power of jealousy is extremely powerful, man. Oof, girls, they're the most jealous, jealous of all. They're more jealous than men sometimes. Hell, definitely are. But like, when your girlfriend doesn't listen to you and things aren't looking good with her, you fucked up a lot and sometimes you can only exit with self-respect left. Yeah, it might be hard, man. It's gonna... It's, it might fucking hurt. It might fucking hurt. But you know what hurts more? Being played around and having zero self-respect. Zero value at the end. So no, there are certain things you can do if it's not too late to have respect back from your girlfriends. Be able to fuck again and get the respect. And to look like a high value male into her eyes. But no, this one thing, this one final thing before I end the video right now. To gain, you must be willing to lose. If you're too afraid to lose, it will show the way you talk, the way you act, the way you react. It will show if you're so afraid of losing them and you don't want to lose them, you know, do whatever it takes. You won't be willing to do certain things. You won't be willing to say or act or be as confident and cocky. You need to be okay with losing her. You need to be okay with telling her, good riddance, it was your damn loss. And if you can't do that, man, you've got a lot of pride. You've got a lot of work to do. A lot of work. Because right now you're in that beta blue pill mindset. And that's got to change. And don't forget to like the video. Share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.